Hello, me again, Cassie from the Foxy Maiden. Um, I have another journal here. This is a vintage faux leather journal. Um, it's the cover is a cereal box, and I just covered it with craft paper that I got from the dollar store, wrinkled it up, and then I have some craft cardstock that I used the faux leather technique on. It feels so awesome, <laughs> um, and. I did some distressing, so as you can tell, um, distress stain in there too, uh, just to give it the real aged look. Um, and then here I have two keys that I stamped and colored in with some ink. Um, I used, similar to my smaller journal, um, I bound the pages, I sewed them in, and they're all tied on the inside so there's no loose strings outside. Um, and then I have some suede cord and I had a scrap of the full leather paper. So I laid this suede cord, punched some holes, put some eyelets in and glued that down to keep the uh, cord binding or the sorry, cord closure on the journal. Um, and this I use crochet yarn. It's a little bit thicker. Um, then thread, or I guess it's crochet thread, um, but yeah, it's less less thick than embroidery floss, thicker than thread. There you go. <laughs> All right, so let's jump in here. This one smells amazing. If you guys could be here, it is amazing. It is um, it's because I coffee dyed this paper, and I also, when I was coffee dyeing, I sprinkled cinnamon on. So, it gave this awesome texture and smells delicious. <laughs> so, here we go. Some lines from the rack that I used to dry. It's pretty cool. Some of them are really awesome. Some of them aren't all that great, but such is the process for coffee dyeing. So, there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven signatures. Three have paper, um, and then there are, I'm sorry, four have paper, and then there are three that are paper bags. Let's see if I can, here we go, get my camera to focus. Um, so, and then on the outside of each of the paper ones, I have cardstock that I also coffee dyed. So there's that, there's all the, paper and then we have the envelope this one I believe there are two like this that have the pocket on the outside as well as the inside here um, and then inside of each paper bag I have some scraps from the papers so I make little like tag thingies stuff those in there so there's more paper Another paper bag. This is so hard to do with just one hand. <laughs> um, so uh, I just love the smell. It's it's brilliant, brilliantly gorgeous. Anyways, okay. So that's about it for that one. Uh, nothing special on the covers. I just inked them. It's just craft paper I inked on the inside here and that's it there we go thank you